What's up YouTube, I'm Sage, and welcome to a new episode of Dare to Play. I introduce you to Evil Baby Orphanage. Originally crafted by the Vlog Brothers, John and Hank Green, of Nerf Iteria. An idea that was created by John and Hank Green, now a card game by Word Miniatures, to help prehabilitate some of the history's greatest villains. Play the role of a time-traveling nanny and adopt tyrants from the time stream so you can guide them toward honest futures, countants, ballerinas, or something. Watch out. An orphanage full of most unruly babies in history is not easy to run. Evil Baby Orphanage captures the fun and mayhem of childcare, and you never need to change a diaper. Put Genghis Khan in timeout, remind Napoleon to use his words, and keep the Unabomber away from the improvised Teddy device. Prove that you are the world's greatest time nanny by managing the most mischievous babies. This game plays to 3 to 6 players, ages 13 and up. Playtime is 15 to 45 minutes. Each time nanny's turn is broken into a series of five steps. Each step must be completed before the next step can begin, and you may not skip a step. Step one, when. This one's pretty straightforward. First, check to see if you have won. If you have at least eight mischief in your orphanage, during this step, you are the winner. You should feel very good about how fantastic you are. Step 2. Activity. You may now play any nanny cards from your hand or discard toys from your orphanage to use their effects. This is normally the only time you could play nanny cards, including toys, from your hand or discard toys to use their special effects. You may play a toy and then use it in the same activity step. Some of these cards can be played at other times. If a nanny card can be played outside of your activity step, it will have a nanny clock hat in the upper right corner of the card. These cards might even be playable during your opponent's turn. Step 3. Supervise. During this step, you move down your orphanage line from left to right, resolving each evil baby unsupervised effects. Effects on an individual evil baby card are resolved in an order from left to right as they appear on the card. Each player may supervise evil babies during their own supervised step by discarding good toys. A supervised evil baby does not trigger any of its unsupervised effects. Some evil babies have symbols, while others have special effects, and some have both. If an evil baby has a written unsupervised effect, it works just like a symbol, but is special to that evil baby. Other effects are continuous or situational. They are described on the Evil Baby card. If you get an Evil Baby during your supervised step, usually because of a bully, you can decide whether it goes on the left or right side of your Evil Babies. However, if you put it on the right, it will perform its unsupervised actions just as if it had been in your orphanage all along. So, it might be smarter if you put it on the left of your evil babies. Step 4. Adopt. You must now take an evil baby from the time stream and place it into your orphanage. You may place this evil baby on the left or right of your line of evil babies.
If there is a time machine in the time stream, you may select it instead of an evil baby. Step 5. Draw. You must now draw nanny cards until you have 4 cards in your hand. If there are no cards in the nanny deck, shuffle the spent pile and start a new nanny deck. The nanny deck will be green, not purple. The purple is the time machine and evil babies. If you have cards in your hand that you do not want, you may discard them before you draw back up to four. The time stream. You must make sure there are three evil babies or time machines awaiting adoption at the time stream. Anytime there are less than three cards in the time stream, place the top card from the baby deck into the time stream until there are three cards. Many evil babies have a series of unsupervised action symbols. There are five symbols. They are triggered any time an evil baby is unsupervised. The top symbol shows a fist. This one represents the bully. These evil babies shove an evil baby from another orphanage. Choose any time nanny. That time nanny must select one of their own evil babies and give it to a time nanny to the left or right. The next one down is the biter. It has teeth. These evil babies throw tantrums and scare off other evil babies. Choose another of your own evil babies and give it to a time nanny to your left or right. The middle symbol is the grabby. These evil babies tend to snatch up anything left lying around. Choose a toy or a time machine from an orphanage to your left or right and move it into your own. The second to last is the babbling. Why won't this baby stop making noise? Each other time nanny to your left and right draws one nanny card. The last symbol in the unsupervised symbols is this eye. It represents creepy. It's so creepy. It stalks from orphanage to orphanage doing who knows what. Choose a time nanny to your left or right. The creepy evil baby moves into that time nanny's orphanage. Finishing the game. If at the beginning of player's turn, they have evil babies with 10 or more total mischief ratings shown at the upper right hand corner of the evil baby card, they are the winner. For a longer game, play to 12 or 15 points, or even more mischief. You can find this game online at wordgames.net. That is W-Y-R-D dash games with an S dot net. It is only $18. Please like and subscribe. You can watch more of our data plays listed at the end of this video. And uh, just stay tuned till next Tuesday. I am Sage. Thank you for watching. May the force be with you. And don't forget to be awesome.